Yes, you can play PUBG Mobile with your wireless controller. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to play PUBG Mobile with your wireless PlayStation 4 controller and the Soundpeaks F4 Lite gaming earbuds, which this video, by the way, is sponsored by, and a couple of easy steps. Let's get into it and welcome to Review Chains. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go to your Play Store and download the application Mantis Gamepad Pro. So you write it in and then you press on install and you open the application. Once you've installed the application, you can open it up. And now when you open the application, you need you see that you need to start the Mantis body and that there's no gamepad or anything else connected. So we are going to start to set up the Mantis body. Now there are a couple things you need to checkmark in your developer's options if they are not already uh, checkmarked automatically, yeah? They are all written here and Mantis uh, Gamepad Pro will guide you through the steps. For example, in my case, I still need to activate the wireless debugging, but everything else is already activated, so I press on Enable. When I press here, it brings me automatically to my developer's options. Here's wireless debugging, I turn it on, and voila, once it's turned on, we go back. Now that it's turned on, it says we need to pair it with the wireless debugging. We press start pairing, and now you see the screen popping up, yeah? We put it up here, we'll scroll down a little bit, here's wireless debugging, we press beneath, and then we can press pair device with pairing code. When we press this, you see you have to put in six digits. It's the, these uh, six digits that you see here. Seven, nine, six, eight, four, four. And then we press pair. And now you see wireless debugging connected. Once you get this message, it means your Mantis body is activated. Now you can close this and go back. Okay. Now, once you go back, you see your Mantis body is connected, but now we still need to connect our controller and our wireless earbuds. Yeah. Now, to connect our wireless earbuds, in this case, we are using the Soundpeats F4 Lite gaming earbuds. We need to just press this button like this and uh, wait until it starts blinking. Now you see the Soundpeats F4 Lite is paired and the battery life is 100%. The reason we I like to use this for gaming is that it has a ultra low latency of 80 milliseconds, which gives you a real, real competitive edge in gaming because it's important to hear everything on time, of course, yeah. And the nice thing is, when you have it in your ear and you want to activate this gaming mode, you just need to tap it three times. One, two, three, like this. And you will hear gaming mode enabled. And if you tap it another three times, it will be disabled. And it has a high-speed charger and it lasts for around 30 hours with one charge. So that's very nice. Now, our high-resolution gaming earbuds are connected. And of course, in the description below, you will find a promotion code of with 5% off for your Soundbeats F4 Lite. Now let's connect our controller. We need to press the PlayStation button and the share button. Once the controller starts blinking like this, it means it's ready to pair. Now we have wireless controller, we pair it. So now we have paired our wireless controller and we have connected our Soundbeats F4 Lite gaming earbuds. And now we can start the game, but before we do that, we need to do one thing. You see, my PUBG Mobile game is already here, but before you get it here, you need to add it. You have to press this button, and when you press this button, you will see all your games and applications, and then you can choose one. So, important notice, this complete tutorial is recorded with the Soundpeats F4 Lite AirPods. I have another pair, which I'm using personally. And I recorded the complete video with it, so you know how the sound quality is when you're going to use it for yourself while gaming. Okay, now let's start PUBG. Launch game. Okay, now once the game started, I suggest you immediately go to the training ground so you can map your controls to your screen. Yeah? 
you will see a mantis body icon on the left corner of your screen when you press on it you see i map my buttons to these places on the screen now i map my buttons already as you can see i can move them around and i can add them from here so if i want to add another button for example i press the key and then i press for example start see now i get the start options button here and I can put it wherever I like, and if I want, I can leave it. If I want an R stick, I press on it, then it will pop up here, and you can move it around like this and put it where you would like, okay? And then you can close it like this, close it up again, and voila, you can use your controller on PUBG Mobile. As you see, it's very easy. You just need to follow a couple of steps and like this, especially if you're gaming with, uh, with some nice gaming headphones or earbuds, you can really enjoy the game and have a nice session like this. Very relaxed. Voila! So as you can see, it works perfectly. You have all the controls you need and you can enjoy gaming like this. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like more tutorials like this or if you have any questions concerning uh, the controller, the application or the Soundpeats uh, earbuds, please just write it down in the comments and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you and see you in the next one.